already released in its native Korea, Kia's all-new minivan is now one of the top-selling cars there, even outselling Korea's all-time favorite car, Hyundai Granger or better known as Hyundai Azera in the US, which was discontinued in the US a generation ago. The Kia's minivan, which is called the Carnival globally, is the fourth generation of Kia's van offering, and has been called Sedona in the US since it first arrived in 2002. However, it appears that the new Kia minivan will also adopt the global moniker after all, when the brand new model is released in the US according to an NHTSA VIN decoder document. Meaning that the name change from Sedona to Carnival is confirmed for the US market as well, just like the sibling K5 sedan, which changed its name from Optima. The new Carnival is meant to look more like an SUV than before to shake the stigma attached to minivans. Kia even decided to call the Carnival a GUV or Grand Utility Vehicle to give it a fighting chance at competing with SUVs to increase market share. We are not sure whether the new nomenclature would have any impact on increasing the sale, but at the end of the day, it's a very good-looking van. It's longer and wider than its predecessor, with a 1.2-inch longer wheelbase. Kia says this creates more space for third-row passengers and increased cargo space behind the third row. The recliner-style second-row captain's chairs found in the current model will continue on as an option, and an eight-passenger configuration should be available as well. Top-spec versions offer an impressive infotainment array with a 12.3-inch digital gauge cluster and a second 12.3-inch central infotainment screen. The powertrain for the North American market is a 3.5-liter V6 engine that makes 290 horsepower and 262 pounds to foot of torque, paired with an 8-speed automatic, derived from the platform-sharing Kia Telluride SUV. However, unlike Telluride and competitors including the Chrysler Pacifica and Toyota Sienna, the Carnival won't offer an optional all-wheel drive setup and remains front-wheel drive. However, what Kia does offer is an incredible 11-passenger configuration, which utilizes the tight cargo space behind the third row to create the fourth row for an additional three seats. Please check out this incredible instruction video on the 11-passenger configuration that seems more like a manual to operate a 3D puzzle game. From the looks of it, ingress and egress to the fourth row would require special military training. Also, please be warned, however, that this model could never be available in North America. I've been trying to go the